This is Regina Davis at NARUG's 131st Annual Meeting and Education Conference in downtown San Antonio, Texas. And joining me today from GE Energy Consultants is, uh, we have Jason and we have Ryan. Now, tell us a little bit about GE Energy Consulting because we're familiar with the light bulb. What, what's beyond the, the light bulb and talk about your connection uh, to the energy and regulatory environment. Sure. So, uh, I, Regina, first of all, wanted to say thank you to you and, and Nehruk for inviting GE Energy Consulting to participate in the conference. It's been a great conference, a uh, great event so far. We're learning a lot, and I think this is a great platform to exchange ideas, and certainly there's a lot of change happening. This is the place to be. Well, thank you so much. We do uh, appreciate all of our sponsors, and we're, we're glad that you could be here. Thank you so much. So GE Energy Consulting has been around uh, for a long time in GE. Uh, started out of Thomas Edison's Technology Lab about uh, 100 years ago and formulated its uh, first role as uh, central station engineering in GE. And we are the group that focuses on uh, energy system integration, integrating different uh, generation technologies all the way through uh, from generation to transmission and distribution all the way to end use. Uh, so we cover the entire landscape uh, of the energy uh, infrastructure. And we look at how to integrate different technologies, how those technologies operate in the grid, and do studies to understand the impact of different forms of generation, uh, reliability issues, operational issues, issues related to markets and trading of energy in dollars. Mm -hmm. So we cover the complete landscape at all different time scales. Okay, great. So what can regulators uh, get out of their interactions with GE Consulting? How, how can you help our regulators? Sure. Well, thank you for that question. And um, so I have a perspective, and then I have a lot of uh, other questions that I've been asking at this conference uh, about how we can interface more with regulators. So Energy Consulting, again, does a lot of system integration studies to look at the impact of renewable generation and the generation mix change that's happening in the energy infrastructure space and say, how does technology play a role at enabling uh, more integration, higher integration of wind and solar power, but also how does the existing infrastructure with thermal generation uh, and increasing penetration also of DERs play a role and how does that change? So we look at uh, modeling volts and amps, uh, system stability, transitioning that to modeling production simulation and how the, how the grid is actually operated on an hour to hour, day to day, month to month, year to year base that those decisions are based more in dollars and economics um, and tie it all together uh, with understanding policy. So what role does policy play right. in shaping this, in enabling technology, in enabling operational practices and practices of energy trading that certainly have to evolve as the system is evolving. So um, uh, in a nutshell, it's about how does all the energy generation, T&D, and end use mm -hmm. change, and, and what, is, what are the impacts? That's what we study. Okay, so it seems like you're tying it all together. Yeah, and uh, we are, we are, and we also have, and one of the big reasons we're here at Nehruk is that we also get very heavily involved in development of energy standards, uh, technical regulatory standards with FERC and NERC, uh, grid code development in other places outside of, of the U.S., but particularly energy policy uh, development to look at you know different market constructs for example what is the influence of a certain market construct between energy capacity and ancillary services and balance mm -hmm. and as that changes what are the implications to enabling technology to deal with variability and uncertainty of wind and solar looking at flexibility of gas and existing resources and certainly the impact of distributed energy um, and wrapping it up and, and today certainly the hot topic is what's going on with storage and what are the yes. roles that does that play relative to all the other system integration uh, constructs that might do the same thing. So um, that's how we really interface with some of the regulators and is trying to understand that whole space. So, uh, so Ryan, uh, <laughs> sure. talk to us about what you do in the organization. Yeah, sure. So I'm in the power. Oops, sorry, I'm I'm in the Power Econ team within G Energy Consulting, and specifically in the Power Econ team, I focus on microgrids and distributed energy resources. And a lot of the work that we do is based on uh, microgrid feasibility studies, seeing, um, you know, where a microgrid application makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done a lot of work in New York and in the Northeast generally. Um, and I focus on 
the financial and economic implications of uh, the projects. Well, we're really interested in that part because, as, sure. as you know, uh, we are economic regulators, yep. and uh, our, our three core areas, of course, are safety, reliability, and making sure that services are delivered at reasonable cost. So, right. so it's very, very important to, to what we're interested in. Right, and we utilize models um, within our studies to make sure that we're optimizing for the lowest cost solution while also maintaining reliability and, um, you know, the, the best kind of measure of decarbonization possible. So, so uh, I'll, I'll ask uh, one final question. What questions should our regulators be asking of, uh, of, the, of utilities? Sure. Would you like me to start that? Sure. Maybe yeah, you can. Yeah. So th there's, a, there's a host of questions that, that we like to ask and that we're seeing in industry right now. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest is uh, what really is the future going to look like? And obviously that's a big broad question, but uh, one of the possible futures that we're really working on right now is getting to 100% renewables. And what does that really mean, right? And we weren't talking about that even a year ago. And, uh, you know, what we're seeing is that uh, there's more push from a regulatory policy perspective for decarbonization and clean energy, um, more push for integrating wind and solar and energy storage, clean gas, clean coal, uh, you know, integrating large storage like uh, pumped hydro storage. And then how do you integrate it all together? And the truth is that we see today if you dig deep enough in the counties and, and the areas that, that are really operating with high percentage, there are hours during the year that are currently being produced uh, with 100%, being, being uh, delivered with 100% renewable energy. Uh, and there are definitely constructs today to be able to accommodate that. And the question is how to move forward with that more on a state by state and even a national level. I, I think it takes a combination of the right incentives, the right policies to promote the right behavior on the grid, the right, the right performance, as well as uh, you know, having a mechanism to pay for all of these mm -hmm. aspects that ultimately the grid needs. And, and, all, and uh, you know, at the end, what is right for the consumer? What, what does the consumer want to pay true, for? True, true. And, and of course, as you realize, uh, our states have uh, different positions on, on Absolutely. renewables. Uh, Nehru understands that. And uh, we are always happy to facilitate these, these conversations, recognizing that each state is, is going to do what's best uh, for their constituents, for their uh, environment, for their customers. But it is good to have these conversations. Absolutely, you know, and, and that's one thing I really appreciate about this, the different perspectives on a state-by-state -state basis. It really pulls out a lot of the issues about what is, uh, what performs the best, what's the balance of mm -hmm. uh, the, the best reliable generation, carbon-free generation, and cost-effective generation, how do you utilize it? So I think we, we certainly have a lot of conversation here and we can definitely learn a lot from each other. So okay. really appreciate the chance to talk with you. And again, thank you so much for inviting GE Energy Consulting to Nehru. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you so much.